Hi, welcome to Matt's Garage. Uh, another early morning, I got up at four and decided to tackle something that's been on my mind, which is the mounting of the radiator on this early Bronco. As some of you know, this was a V6 or inline six originally. So it had the inline six Mustang radiator. I've got the V8 radiator from Tom's Off-Road, the aluminum one. Uh, another episode on that, mounting the shroud on that. I modified the shroud to get it to fit with the mounts and now I'm just mounting it up. What I've noticed is a lot of guys will modify their core supports to pull the radiator forward. There's plenty of room and I've seen some pretty extreme core support modifications. I'm doing just a slightly modified one to pick up about an inch and a half, maybe an inch, pick up about an inch. Um, and every bit counts in that area because that's where it's super tight on the Broncos and that's why guys run the Explorer Serpentine setup because it's the tightest one they can, but I'll take all the room I can get. And I'm doing it with like a fairly minor mod. So let me show you what I'm up to. Hey, Bronco. This is, uh, I basically cut the core support and folded this piece back and trim the top of the radiator mounts to pull it and i'm going to do six spot welds on each one i'll show you the inside you can see how it's kind of recessed in there so i'm going to do the so i'm going to weld up the bottom first and then figure out the top Now I gotta figure out the top. So in the original position, it mounts your radiator out there. And I'm looking at bringing it in like that. Basically, I need to cut this here and build a pocket to pull this back. Like so. And looking at this, just trying to figure out how much of this core support I actually need to cut, but it looks like I need to go almost all the way through. But almost is still not all the way through, so that's okay. If I can retain a little bit just to keep that, that relationship, then that's better. I might flip the script and just do that, you know? I don't want it touching, because if you kind of touch it, it'll be vibration. So you do want it to stand off a bit. So, with that in place, I think it needs to be about there, I think. Well, that's about perfect. So let's see if I can figure this out now. I think I can just do that. With the script. Normally this normally this piece sits on the front side, but and its point is to support the core support, which it's gonna do now. So and looking at it, I really on this one I might not actually cut so far because I could as long as I clear this turn, I can slide it in. That's okay. So that's what this one looks like. Obviously it needs to be cleaned up, but 
I might want to strengthen up the core support. I'll figure out how to do that. What I did was I took some angle iron and I slid it. And uh, I'm basically it in here. Weld it to the back and then weld it under here, a couple of tacks, and that's going to return the strength to this. And then I just rounded the edges a little bit so it looks clean. Well, it's definitely no worse. So, do no harm. Okay, it's like eight o'clock. I need to go get cleaned up and get to work. So, uh, that's one side done. I'm gonna basically replicate that exact same thing on this side. And then I need to grind down the welds and clean it up. And then I'll come back. There she is. I am very happy with this. Um, you know, I went through cleaned up all the welds. I beveled it just for a little bit of look so it looks intentional. Um, yeah, I mean, I, the, the horns seem okay. Everything fits great. From the inside here, you can see how tight I am with the core support, but still plenty of room. And uh, hopefully that buys me a couple inches. Um, yeah, I, th I think that looks great. Well, that was a very successful day. I started out with no mount for this V8 radiator and turned it into not only a solidly mounted radiator, but sucked it in and gave myself an inch of clearance for, for my motor. Very happy about this. Some of you might think I hacked that, uh, what do you call it, the core support, the radiator support, but I think, I think it's a passable mod, actually. I didn't hack it up too much. I used mostly all the normal parts. I just kind of reoriented them, got a little creative with how it's mounted and was able to give it a little bit of a tummy tuck. And uh, it's solid, it's ready to go. That's, that's very exciting. Now, this was the last of the structural welding that I'm aware of on this uh, vehicle. Vehicle, on, on this Bronco, sorry, it's, can't just, it's not a vehicle, it's a Bronco. Uh, and, and so now all I have is sheet metal welding to do. Why, why are you telling me this, Matt? I'll tell you why I'm telling you, okay? It's because I run 035 wire. Is it 035? 030 wire in my welding for almost everything. But what I found is uh, with sheet metal, especially old sheet metal, the 23 is a little more forgiving because it puts less heat into the panel, the 023. 0 0.23. 023? 023. 023. The 0.023 wire is just way more forgiving. Um, so I'm going to switch over. I've got some, uh, some wire coming. I use this brand called uh, In Innafil. It looks, it's like yellow like that. Innafil. It's about, I don't know, 33 bucks for, for a 10 pound roll. And originally I was using the central welding wire when I first got my setup. That stuff sucks. So go ahead and spend a little extra money on the Innafil. Actually, I think it's cheaper than buying it from central welding, but um, it welds so much nicer. And, uh, and the only thing with 023 that's problematic is that it tends to bird's nest, so you really gotta, set your uh, rollers right. The other problem is switching from 030 to 023, you do need the smaller roller, you need a different liner, depending on your rig, maybe your rig's already set up for 023, but this bigger Ironman 230, it's, uh, I need to get the special rollers for it. But whatever, it's all good. I already have it, so I didn't buy it for this project. What else is going on? I have a couple. So I think the next thing I'm going to tackle is those uh, those rear quarter panels, the potato chips. A uh, great subscriber and friend of mine, Brian Riley, FedExed me some lower quarter panels that he just had. He, he only used the top sections and I only need the bottom. So uh, if I can't get these straightened out, I'm going to then try to graft on the ones that he's, he's sending me 
And then if that doesn't work out, I'll go to the either cutting it for fenders or ordering uh, new panels. Uh, there's a diesel outside. One more thing, if you're still watching. I have a 5.0 block with GT40 heads on it. You guys have seen it, it needs a rebuild because that one cylinder had rust in it, but it's a four inch bore, so it's got room to be bored out to 30 over and 60 over. Uh, and it's got the GT40 96 Explorer heads. So if anybody's interested, you know, you know where to find me, Matt's Garage Show at gmail.com. See you next time on Matt's Garage. Oh, oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, I filmed this on April 1st. So if you're watching this June of 2025, I don't, I don't have the motor anymore. Don't call me. Thank you.